Hi friends, welcome to Non-Functional Club. As a part of our test trigger series, we'll be looking into sign up and have a demo of few test cases around the test trigger tool. So if you have not watched part one, do watch for the introduction, the features available and its advantages over Selenium, how this particular tool will be baselined or will be really helpful for your organization. So let's begin. So this is the landing page when we navigate to testtrigger.com. In the previous video also we have seen it. We'll be navigating to sign up. So here there are three type of variants or plans available. One is free for public. Next is private wherein we have $900 per month and then we have custom pricing as per the enterprise choice. So we will be going for open source license. Once you start, I found it very helpful or very easy because there is just one form to fill. So we'll just say, and we can give any email ID of your choice. Currently I'm giving a dummy email ID as I have already logged in to show you how we can fill in. You just have to provide few parameters. All are mandatory here. Once you fill in this particular section, just have to click on register now and the email address will be sent on this particular email ID which you have passed. So you need to do verification. Once you click on register now, you will receive a verification email which you have to verify. And once the verification of this email ID is done, you can sign in easily. So if you want to sign in, click on login. We'll be navigated to the login page where we have to enter email address and password. As I have already verified my account and if I click on login with Google, I can easily log into the portal. Now I have done certain you know, test cases or few test suite execution. I have overviewed with various features of test trigger. So those are present here. Rather you'll be displayed with blank section here with the folders and test suits. So already created test suits and folders will be present here and rest we can get it from or we can create it from the new test suit section. So here to create a test suit, we have to specify the test suit name, type of testing which we are going to do. So as we are aware that Test Trigger supports four type of testing. One is web testing, mobile web testing, native and hybrid mobile app testing, and Windows remote desktop testing. So here you can specify the URL which you want to test. And this will be your username and password section, the credentials on which OS we want to perform the operation, Ubuntu, Windows, or Mac OS. On the Chrome or Firefox browser, we have to specify. And test trigger automatically creates test cases based on the options which we have given. So it will auto discover and create few test cases around the website. So let's see which scenario we are going to check. So here we have a website that is an e-commerce web website. So here let's log in with the credentials provided. And once you log in, we can see that we have specific items here which we can add to the cart. So if we click on these options and then we navigate to the cart, we can see that those items are added in the cart. So let's see a scenario where we first log in. Then we add Source Labs backpack to the cart and we'll navigate to the cart and verify whether Source Labs backpack is present in my cart section. So let's see how we can perform this scenario using test trigger. So first of all, here we need to specify the test suit. So we'll just say Swag Labs test suit. Then this will be our web testing. So we can keep it as it is. We need to specify the URL. So first I'll log out of the application and we can specify this URL. 
here we can specify the username and password so let's pick this up as username and the password would be which we have it here we'll keep the os as it is we'll go for chrome browser and here we'll specify it to zero we don't want to create any test cases as of now and i'll create the test suite so once you create the test suite we will be moved to that particular test suite where we can create test cases so now if you want to create a test case we can click on add custom test case option here the credentials which we have provided will be present in the settings authentication section so if you wish to change the credentials you can just make the changes here and save it those credentials will be used so first of all let's see how these credentials are effective so if we add a custom test case and if we say you want to do login operation and here as well if we just specify login if you add and run the test case we can see how simple it is to perform the login operation so currently your test case has been set up then the test case will be running so now the test case is run it has finished its execution if we go here and see what all steps it has taken so first of all it has landed on this page next it has entered the stored value of username and password in the fields it has identified the login button as well and it has clicked on it and then if you see the dashboard page has been loaded successfully so we can see how easy it is to perform login operation if we have passed the credentials while test suite creation so let's actually focus on our test case now wherein we need to first login so let's see what action we have to perform after login is done so as our login is already done by the login keyword let's again login into this portal to understand what will be next step so we have to click on add to cart button which is in the sauce labs backpack section right so let's copy this and we'll be writing it as along we have or we have the option there right it so we have to click on add to cart so add to cart button right so this is add to cart button which is in sauce lab section so click on add to cart in right or we can say below this particular backpack section right once you click on it once you click on add to cart we have to click on this particular shopping cart button now if you see there is no text which is provided with shopping cart icon so we just right click and inspect if you inspect you will see there are particular hierarchy of dom structure which is present here and the link is highlighted with total shopping cart link option or shopping cart container so if if it was selenium and we have to ob identify the object right using xpath so here we usually go for ids or class similarly here i can specify any keyword which is present in the id or class so i can use shopping i can use cart i can use container as well so let's go with shopping so i can say click on shopping okay so it will be click on and in double quotes we can say shopping here you can even specify the whole identifier that is shopping cart container you can just copy it and you can paste it here that will also do for now to for the ease of it i am just saying click on shopping so once we click on shopping right once i am clicking on shopping what i have to verify i have to verify whether the same selected item which i have picked or clicked is present in my your cart section so first of all we'll verify whether your cart is i am navigated to your cart or not so i'll say check that page 
contains we'll see your card right once we have verified that you know your card is present then we'll even verify my particular backpack option is present or not so again we can just copy this and we can say whether my backpack option right so let's just paste it here so we have to verify two things one is if i am navigated on your cart so on my page is your cart present and next would be is my shopping cart actually loaded with source lab backpack item which i have selected right so this will be our end to end test case here let's see if this is actually executing if we are getting any errors so i'll say save and retest so again the test case is setting up and now the test case has started execution let's see how the test case has turned out so here the login is done using same login keyword which we have used right so till login we are done in the previous test case also we have seen that so after login we can see here we are navigated to dashboard now add to cart should be clicked so here if it has identified add to cart which is below source lab backpack option so it has easily identified this button it has clicked on it once it is clicking it has converted to remove now it has identified the shopping cart option by the shopping text which we have provided in the test case here also if we see we have provided two things we had to verify that the page contains your cart text and second was source labs backpack if it is present in my shopping cart section or not so all these two things it has verified it has marked it in green and my test case has been passed right so here if we see it is passed so this is the way like definitely we can change this to an end to end test case where we can verify the shopping cart right so this is the way where we can actually do an end to end mapping of a test case in a simple or plain english format so this was a simple demo of how login keyword can be used with the saved credentials and how an end to end test case verification can be done using test trigger stay tuned for next session where we are going to explore more features and expand our test suite with more test cases don't forget to subscribe non functional club channel hope this session was useful thank you